badass buck out here. I know there's talk of Ohio State going to the championship this year, but what I've been watching on ESPN is how the Georgia Bulldogs can they repeat. And my first reaction to that is heck no. Georgia has three stars coming back on defense. You're quite aware of what they lost to the NFL and how great that defense was last year. But the good news for Georgia is that seven starters are coming back on offense for them. But Georgia did lose the running backs, Cook and White, to the NFL. As far as Georgia making it back to the championship, the reason I think there's very little chance that's even possible is because that defense was so great that they were able to win it, get there to win it with Stetson Bennett as QB. And Bennett is basically an average quarterback that's new to the superb. He was pretty efficient in that in that championship against Bama. And he didn't put up great numbers, just being efficient, didn't turn the ball all over, didn't lose it like he did the SEC championship. I don't see how Georgia can repeat, especially you know, losing all that talent. It's, it's, that's just too big of a task for them to overcome. For them to even talk about it, I guess it's just trying to hype up the team. But if you go back to the championship, that game was close to the very end, to the, to the fourth quarter. And the reason they lost that was because the receivers from Bama just couldn't hold on the balls at critical moments in that game. Bryce Young, he was pretty good. And another thing you have to take into account is that if you look at that championship game, Bryce Young threw two, two ill-advised interceptions in that game. The first one when he was covered, and of course the last one at the end of the game, which really sealed it, I thought those were two ill-advised bad passes by by Young. But other than that, he's a great quarterback. I watched him come back and beat Alabama, uh, Auburn. I saw that game. That went to, I don't know how many overtimes. And of course, what he did against Georgia in the SEC Championship, he, he was basically excellent. That, that's why he won the Heisman. So Georgia, even with that great defense and a good running game and efficient passing, they still barely beat Bama. And that was until the very end when, you know, on that last drive, you know, through that ill-advised, that second ill-advised pass that was intercepted and returned. As far as Georgia making it back to the championship, um, if I was a betting man and I had bet $100, I would bet $100 that they, would, they are not going back to the championship. And it's really because of Bennett. Georgia's going to win a lot of games this year because, you know, they have a lot of cupcakes on their schedule. That's not a knock on them. Ohio State has a lot of cupcakes. And, of course, Bama has a lot of cupcakes on their schedule. Georgia's going to win their games. I don't know who they're going to lose to, but I just can't see them get to the championship because they lost their two stud running backs, White and Cook. And I did read that they do have you know, good quality running backs on that team. So their running game might be just as good. I don't see their defense playing at the highest level possible to beat Bama. Bama is the team to win. And I know a lot of things, a lot of hype on the internet, on YouTube, they got Ohio State going to the championship and winning it. Let's, let's pump the brakes. We don't know if the front four can control the run yet. But it should be interesting. I expect Georgia to be right up there. You know, at least, you know, knocking on the playoff door. If you're a Buckeye fan, do me a favor and subscribe. I'm a Buckeye fan. Another thing is that YouTube only shows your video if you hit the like button. If you get a lot of likes, they'll show your, your video a lot. I would really appreciate that. Thank you for your time.